Hi there. In this video, I want to talk about setting uh, tabs in your document and also working with um, dot leader tabs. So this is the finished um, column of information that we're working from. Now I have the show hide button clicked on so I can actually see that this is a tab in between each of these, you know, basically columns of text. If I click on this again to turn off the show hide button, notice that I can't really tell just from looking um, initially, is this a tab? Did someone use the space bar or, um, uh, you know, periods to do this? That's something you don't want to do because a lot of times it won't keep the proper spacing. So if you want a column of information to keep its spacing, you really want to use a tab. Um, I can't actually, since my cursor is sitting in this line, I can see the tab right up here on my ruler. And if I get my mouse pointer right on it, it does give me that tool tip that it says right tab. So I can look there as well. So this is what we're shooting for. Okay, so let's go over to where we have an example. Now, this uh, column of information has bulleted uh, items at the left, which we're going to keep those. And when someone was inputting this, they typed in the information and then they just pressed the tab key on their keyboard. And again, since I have my show hide button on, I can see that there's a tab in between. If I take that off, it could just be spacing, you know, like again with my space bar maybe. So this show hide button really does help you be a quote detective when you're trying to figure things out in your document. Now I want this information um, all the information on the right hand side to be right aligned at the six inch mark with a dot leader. So the first thing I want to do is um, just to point out again I mentioned looking at the ruler. My cursor is sitting here in this um, line and I can see that there are three tabs already set for this line. If I click down here, nope I don't have any, um, you know, manually set tabs. So I need to, I want to fix that. I don't want all of those tabs sitting there. I want just the tab that I'm going to set. Um, if we click on the um, launcher for the paragraph group and then go down to the tabs button, I can see that, okay, I do have these tabs set. Um, let me just show you real quick. If I were to click over here and press the tab key again on my keyboard, it now has the text left aligned with the um, four inch mark. And that's where I set my tab. If I press the tab again, um, I have it set at the four and a half inch mark. You can see that that doesn't work. And now I have three tab settings, but we, we can um, do this more easily. So I'm just gonna delete, go back to just one tab that I've pressed. And then let's go back to our um, tabs button. And I'm gonna click on clear all and then click on okay. And you can see now all of those tabs disappeared off of my ruler. And I'm basically starting with a pretty much clean slate. Someone has nicely put in this tab stop here between each item and we're going to use that to our advantage. So what I want to do is I'm going to um, come over here in my left hand margin and just select all of the information that I want to work with a tab. I want to do that so I can just set the tab once and it will affect everything. Same thing if you need to, let's say you need to start over, you got some tabs set but they just aren't working, select all of the text affected by that, delete the tabs and then you know with the information still selected go ahead and um, reset a new tab. So let's go ahead and go back to our tabs dialog box. So I'm going to set a tab at the six, six inch mark. So I put that tab stop position up there. Under the alignment area I want it to be a right align tab and now under the leader area I want it to be a dot leader. Okay, you have some other options, but that's what we're shooting for here. So I can go ahead and set, uh, click set and then OK or just click OK. And notice that now, and I'll click outside of it just so you can see it. Now, all of my text in the second column is aligned, um, at, right aligned at the six inch mark. And I have these dot leaders. Let's go ahead and take off the um, show hide button. And now you can see these are nicely spaced. 
and if I were to print this document or do anything else with it, all of that spacing is going to stay the same. So again, if you have um, uh, more information that you want to work with, you always want to make sure that you select all of it and then um, you know work with the formatting or the tabs or whatever it is that you need to. So I hope this has been helpful in learning how to set tabs as well as clear tabs if you have something in your document that is not working for you. Alrighty, see you next time. Take care.